Greetings, my wonderful Facebook family. This is your main man and your best friend, Johnny Cash, and we are live. So as we get this party started, let me begin by saying that I do not own the rights to this music. Okay, so what I'd like to go into with everybody today is, well, you know what? Before we get started, let's just... Uh, take care of a little administrative business. I'm gonna ask everyone to like, comment, and share this video. Uh, matter of fact, do that right now. Like, comment, and share this video because we are going in. We're going to deal with the, uh, the four ages. The four ages, that's right. The Iron Age, the Bronze Age, the Silver Age, the Golden Age. Right. And um, <laughs> I, I had a thought, a fleeting thought before I got started tonight. I said, you know, if for whatever reason, Facebook Buffy kicks in, I get knocked off and have to start over. I won't uh, I won't trip because I literally saw Zuckerberg get knocked off of his own creation. Yeah, he was like uh, 10 minutes in. And this guy had a billion dollars worth of equipment and Facebook knocked his ass off. All right. So I'm not going to jump to a conspiracy conclusion in the event that that occurs. But uh, we're going to do our thing anyway. Right. And uh, have a good time. A couple of shout outs. Julie, thanks for chiming in. Good to see you. Uh, Renee, thank you for chiming in. Uh, or Jean, thank you for Chiming in. It's good to see everyone. Okay, so let's get started by, by mentioning that it's very interesting. Keisha, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you. You know, it's very interesting that... Uh, get a little bit more volume on now. Master Marley. You know, it's very interesting. Islam one. Great to see you, bro. It's interesting how a lot of uh, teachers are making predictions concerning the end of the world. And uh, this was especially done a few years ago, you know when everybody thought that they knew what the Mayan calendar was predicting with respect to certain information encoded in its ancient calendar or in their ancient calendar. Now, I'm going to read something with respect to that. Now, listen, listen, listen closely. Check this out. End of the world in 2012. Maya Doomsday calendar explained. It's remotely possible the world will end in December 2012, but don't create the ancient Maya calendar for predicting it, say experts on the Mesoamerican culture. It's true that the so-called Long count calendar, which spans roughly 5,125 years, starting in 3114 BC, reaches the end of a cycle on December 21st, 2012. That day brings to a close the 13th Baktun, an almost 400 year period in the Mayan long count calendar. But rather than moving to the next Baktun, the calendar will reset at the end of the 13th cycle, akin to the way a 1960s automobile would click over at mile 99,999.9 and reset to zero. All right? Now, we of course know that really means 100,000 miles and not zero, said William Saturno, an expert on Maya archaeology at Boston University. 
So, is a large period ending? Yes. Did the Maya like period endings? Answer, yes, Santerno said. Okay, now, you know what? I'm going to stop right there because guess what? He doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. All right? To make a long story short or a short or a short <laughs> story shorter, this guy has, we'll presume, a PhD, master's degree in archaeology, something in that area, anthropology, right? But guess what? He's not a Mayan initiate. He's not a Mayan high priest. So where does he get off presuming that he has the authority to speak correctly regarding ancient Mayan secrets? All right? Okay. Now, you might say, well, I heard that corroborated by a Mayan priest on YouTube. Well, guess what? If you did, guess what else? He lied. How can you say he lied, Johnny Cash? I can say he lied because when you're initiated into a priesthood, you take a vow of secrecy. Why in the hell should an initiate who has taken a vow of secrecy tell some college professor or some university professor secrets that could result in him getting his throat slit? That doesn't even make any sense. All right? So what is my point? My point is, The, the media in, in cahoots, if you will, with the academic institutions are spreading disinformation among, among the masses to keep them in an uproar. Everybody's worrying themselves sick over the prospect that the world was coming to an end. I'm, I'm going to pause for the cause and give a couple of shout outs. Uh, Thurman, thanks for chiming in. Uh, Anicia, thank you for chiming in. Carlos, great to see you. Stand out brothers, thanks for chiming in. Natasha, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share this live broadcast, family. I want to get the word out with respect to our ancient Asiatic world calendar and the power that it contains and gives to us to have a scientific knowledge of the future. All right? That's the purpose of tonight's broadcast. I want to show you how our ancient Asiatic world cycle calendar works on a certain level with respect to forecasting large periods of time. Okay? All right. You, you guys are going to have a ball. We're going to have some fun tonight. Okay? All right. And get you a pad, uh, uh, a legal pad and an ink pen and get ready to take some notes because I'm going to give you some, some information that you're going to want to write down, okay? Some of you may even take this information to your own YouTube channel. You may go live on your Facebook page talking about this knowledge because I'll tell you right now, it's the kind of knowledge you will not get in college, right? Okay, now, again, I'm not gonna be before you long, but I am going to be before you strong because I want you to get this information tonight, OK? 
okay? I want you to understand once and for all that you can know the future, right? Just like you know that next Wednesday is going to follow next Tuesday. And why do you know that? Because last Wednesday followed last Tuesday. What does that mean? It means that our knowledge of the future Wednesday is based on our knowledge of the cyclical nature of time, specifically our week, right? Our week is a time frame and it is broken down into subsections called days and there's seven in a week and they repeat themselves. That's a cycle, you see. So you know that next Tuesday will be followed by next Wednesday because of your knowledge of the cycle. Simple? Okay, all right. So we can know the future people because time is cyclical. Time is a wheel. Time is a cycle. It is not linear. It doesn't start at point A and extend to infinity. No, time does not operate like that. Time rotates. Time revolves. You see, right? Okay, now. So, we have a big cycle of time. I just discussed a small cycle of time, which is a week. We have a larger cycle of time known as a month, an even larger cycle of time known as a year, an even larger cycle of time known as the great year, which consists of 25,920 years. I call it the Asarian year in honor of our ancestor Asara, or also known as Osiris, right? Okay, so in the Asarian year, people, the time revolves 25,920 deep. It revolves that many years. And when it gets to 25,920, we know that the following year will be one. You follow? See who else is chiming in with us. Okay. Uh, Freeman, thanks for chiming in. Great to see you. Okay, so are we crystal clear so far? Right? Okay. I'm going to ask everyone to like, comment, and share this live broadcast because this is powerful information, people. This is news that you absolutely can use. Okay? Now, having said that, having said that, hey, hey, stand out. All right. Okay. So, let's go here. All right? Let's go here. While we lively, while we lively up ourselves. Peace, fam. Great to see you, Cameron. Yeah. Okay, so if everyone can see the monitor, right, we have, we have what are called the four ages, okay? We have the four ages. We have the Iron Age, the Bronze Age, the Silver Age, and the Golden Age. You say, well, what's over here? The same thing, but they're on a descending arc, right? So in the four ages, we have an ascending phase, iron, bronze, silver, gold. And then from gold, we have a descending phase where everything devolves back to iron, from gold to silver to bronze to iron. 
Okay? Now, how does that happen within the context? Good to see you, Brenda. Thanks for chiming in. Everyone, please like, comment, and share this live video so that all of your Facebook friends will see what's going on tonight and how deep we're going down this rabbit hole of this thing called time. Okay? Now, how do these four ages how, how do they relate to our Asiatic world cycle calendar of 25,920 years? Inquiring minds want to know. Right? Okay, this is how it works. Starting with year one, in our 25,920-year cycle, we're at the Golden Age. Okay? Now, with these four ages, again, we have four ascending, starting from iron, ascending to bronze, ascending to silver, from silver to golden. And the other half of the cycle has, from the golden, descending to the silver, descending to the bronze, descending, finally, to the iron. Now, that seven steps, that seven steps in that great year of 25,920 years. Now, because of that, we know that there are 3,702 years to each of these divisions of the four ages. Remember, we have divisions ascending where things are getting better, and then we have the four ages descending where things are getting worse. All right, now, we're about to go someplace. Remember on our new year, which began on the autumn equinox, which was September 22nd, right? That marked the first day of our year in the earth plane. Okay, so that was the first day. We're now on the 29th, so we're nine days into our year. But what year, you ask? We are in the year, in our 25,920 year Cycle, Brianna, thanks for chiming in. Eric, thanks for chiming in, big bro. Great to see you. Let's talk later. We are in, where are we? In our 25,920-year cycle. We learned on the autumn equinox when I went live talking about this subject matter, we learned that we are in year 16,023. That's right. The PhDs at Harvard and Yale and University of Chicago and Oxford and, you know, they're not going to give you this information. Why? Because this knowledge will give you the ability to know the future and plan accordingly. Let me tell you something that's going to do you some good tonight. The original people of the earth, a.k.a. black people, write their own history 25,920 years in advance. That's right. And you run around here reading history books. When you should be writing your history 25,920 years ahead of time. You write the history. You don't read it. 
See, you got the game twisted. You run around here reading history when you should be running around here living the history that you've written. Sounded so nice, I think I said twice. You're running around here reading history when you should be running around here living the history that you have written. So let it be written, so let it be done. How do you write your history? I'm giving you the secrets tonight. I'm teaching you about your ancient calendar where time and, and events that naturally occur in certain periods in that time pattern repeat themselves. You see. Juanita, thanks for chiming in. Aaron, my nephew. Man, I'm blown away. Thanks for chiming in, bro. Caroline, great to see you, okay? All right, now, get this now. Get this. In the ancient calendar, in the ancient calendar, as I said, I'm going to repeat this again because repetition is the mother of learning. I, I want you to learn this so that you can live this. I want you to learn this so that you can live this, so that you can give this. See, because it's not about practicing what you preach. It's about preaching what you practice. And if you haven't practiced nothing, you have nothing to say. You heard? <laughs> okay, now, watch this. As, as we go up, remember, these are seven periods because there are three ascending. And then when you get to the golden age, as you get halfway into the golden age, the golden age kicks into a decline from the center of that age. Then it retrogrades back to silver, bronze, and iron. Okay, now. Now, I'm tempted to tell you where we are right now within this framework, but I can't go there yet because I gotta give you some additional foundational material. Now, remember now, we said that each of these, each of these sections in the four ages is 3,002 years long, right? That's powerful, Eric. Eric said that's why their father had them write a life plan so that they could live their future in the now. That's a beautiful thing. That's powerful. You see, we should all get back to that. That's important. That's crucial. Okay, now each of these sections takes 3,702 years to complete. So, now, it's time to get your pen and paper. I'm about to give you some numbers. I'm about to give you some numbers. Okay, now. So, in our calendar, in our Asiatic World Cycle calendar of 25,920 years, the golden age begins with year one. The golden age begins with year one, all right? And it runs through, you can draw a hyphen, 3,702. In other words, in the Asiatic World Cycle calendar, the years one through 3,702 mark the golden age in the earth plane. That's the golden age, right? Okay, now, what are the attributes of the golden age? Thought you'd never ask. Okay, the golden age is an age where the immortals walk the earth unmasked. Immortals walk the earth now, but you don't know who they are. During every golden age, those 
Humans who have attained immortality literally walk the earth. And as they're just going about their day and meeting people and doing things, it just may come up during the course of the conversation, yes, I am an immortal, so and so and so and so and so and so. And nobody's tripping because we're in that age of advanced knowledge where everyone is at a is at an optimum, at their optimum level of consciousness. You see, it's not a threat. No one feels threatened by having immortals walking in their midst, right? So that's one of the attributes of the golden age. Another attribute is that peace and harmony prevails during the golden age. There is no war. There's only peace and harmony. Prosperity, wealth, health, all good. That's the golden age, right? Okay, all right. People still die during the golden age, but they don't die of sickness. They die because it is their time. And so they make their transition peacefully and their families do not grieve. It's a beautiful thing. The Golden Age. Let's move on to the Silver Age. The Silver Age kicks in on our calendar at the year 3703 and it runs through the year 7405. Okay? Now let's talk about the attributes of the golden year. Deanna, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you. Michelle, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you. The Silver Age in the Silver Age Let's give me a minute here. Okay. In the Silver Age, the focus in the world is on building, planting, and harvesting according to the seasons. Right? Harnessing the force, the forces that are released. in each of the four seasons and they build accordingly. You may have heard of Feng Shui, which is the oriental science of building according to energy patterns in nature, Feng Shui, right? Okay, so Feng Shui was obviously invented during a silver age because the focus shifts to the seasons and harnessing the energy of the four seasons for purposes of architecture and agriculture. All right? So your master healers were developed during a silver age. You follow? All right. Mitt, thanks for chiming in. Marticia, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Okay. So I gave you the time for the Silver Age. That would be the years 3,703 through the year 7,405 in our 25,920 year Great cycle. All right. Let's go on to the bronze year. So, yeah, let's go on to the bronze year. 
The bronze year. The bronze year starts at year 7,406. And it runs clear through the year 11,108. Remember now, each of these ages is 3,702 years in length. LaCourt, thanks for chiming in with us. I'm great, sweetie. How are you? You doing good? Okay. You got that standout? Okay, big brother. Hey, Mike. I'm good, big brother. Great to see you. Thanks for chiming in with us, family. Okay, now. Now, let's talk about the attributes of the Bronze Age. Now, again, the Bronze Age is, it starts in the year 7,406, and it runs through the year 11,108. Now, let me give you the attributes of the Bronze Age. The Bronze Age is where men are prone to warfare. They're prone to warfare. But not in piety. In other words, not, not maliciously. All right, now. Okay. All righty. Okay. So men are subject to war, but they're not, they're not so caught up in their feelings that they'll go to war over just anything. Okay? All right. So, again, that's the Bronze Age from 7,406 through 11,108 in our Asiatic World Cycle calendar. Okay, now. <clears throat> now, the Iron Age. The Iron Age starts at 11,109 and it runs through 14,811. Now, what are the attributes of the Iron Age? Well, you probably already figured it out. The Iron Age ain't nothing nice. The Iron Age, during this age, humans live an existence of toil and misery. Children dishonor their parents. Brother fights with brother. And the social contract between guest and host is forgotten. During this age, might equals right. And bad men use lies in order to be thought good. At the height of the Iron Age, humans no longer feel shame or indignation at wrongdoing. Babies are inclined to be born with gray hair. You've seen situations where babies are born with a disease where they grow old fast. That's what this is talking about, right? And the gods have completely forsaken humanity. There's a scripture in the Bible that says that there are times when man is without hope and without God in the world. That's talking about the Iron Age, people. That's talking about the Iron Age. All right, now, what we've just done was, 
We've just given you. We've just given you. The first half of the Asiatic world cycle calendar. That is the that that is a rundown of the four ages in their ascending arc. Okay? As the thirteen constellations which are the point which are the front line of the heavens. Yes, the 13 constellations are the front line of the heavens. As the entire heavens revolve around our earth, it takes them 25 thousand nine hundred and twenty years to complete their rotation. The first half of the rotation gives us the ascending phase of the four ages of man. I've just described them to you along with the years in our Asiatic world cycle calendar that each age takes place. Now, and that was the descending phase. Starting from year one, clear through year 14,811. So from here to here marks the first half of our Asiatic world cycle calendar. And how do we know that? Because we know that all creation takes place in darkness. And so the beginning of any time period has to start where that particular time period is moving in retrograde, where things are getting darker. All right, now, that's how we knew that the beginning of our year is on the autumn equinox because that is the time on the earth when the darkness becomes longer than the daylight. All right, now I'm giving you news that you can use. This is knowledge you will not get in college. I'm giving you back your time. I'm giving you back your rhythm. I'm giving you back your ability to write your future 25,920 years in advance. All right now. So, from the Iron Age, as we make our ascent, right? Ulysses, thanks for chiming in. Great to see you. Asuehu, Thanks for chiming in, Tracy. Thanks for chiming in. Hello, I see you. Now, as we make our ascent from the Iron Age, remember now, the Iron Age ended in the year 14,811. So now, moving up, moving on up, <laughs> To the Bronze Age, that takes place as we make our ascent in our great year, in the year 14,812, and it ends in the year 18,514. Well, earlier I said to you that in our Asiatic World Cycle calendar, we are in the year. 16,023, right? 16,023. So we are, we are 
in the middle of the Bronze Age. This is where we are, people. We're in the Bronze Age. I'll say it again. We're right here in the Bronze Age. We're making our ascent to the Golden Age by way of the Silver Age, but we're halfway into, right now, we're halfway into the Bronze Age. Now, if you think I'm lying, let me read again to you the attributes of the Bronze Age. Bronze Age. Men are prone to warfare. Men are prone to warfare. But not in piety. So they're not just randomly kicking war off because they have nothing better to do. We're halfway into that. We're halfway into that. Men are still hard. Don't get it twisted. Men are still violent. Don't get it twisted. All right? But they're not as bad as they were in the Iron Age. Men have more of a conscience in the Bronze Age. It, it makes me think about Senator, uh, what's his name, Flank? The Republican senator who was going to vote yes on the Kavanaugh appointment. Without ceremony, he had already put his word out that he was going to do it. He made that statement publicly. And as he was getting on the elevator, as they recessed, he was accosted by two women before that elevator door could close and the media was right there on point. And she told that man, hey, listen, I was sexually molested. So you mean to tell me I don't matter? You, you look me in my eye right now and tell me, Mr. Senator, that I don't matter. Because if you say yes to that, the appointment of that man after that woman testified in a Senate hearing that he attempted to rape her while they were in high school. If you say yes to his appointment to the highest position in America, in the judicial branch of government, you've told every woman in America that their virtue does not matter. That man couldn't say a word. He could not say a word. Now I'm going somewhere with this. When they reconvened, I saw it with my own eyes because it was live on CNN. That man came back and had a conference with a few of his, a few of his cronies on the Democratic side of the aisle in a back room along with a couple of his cronies on the Republican side. And when he came back, he made the statement to the effect that he feels that in the interest of justice, it would be better if they not be too hasty and vote on the appointment of Kavanaugh, but rather send a message to the White House requesting that the FBI take no more than a week to investigate the claims of Professor Ford against Judge Kavanaugh. See, that was an example of being in the middle of the Bronze Age where men still have the warfare inclination but they have a conscience. See, had we been in the Iron Age, the senator wouldn't have given, he would have had zero fucks to give. He would have came right back and said, hey guys, let's vote. Let's, let's get this done. I'm hungry. Right? 
You see, so this is the hallmark of the Bronze Age. Although men ain't perfect, although men is subject to being extremely rambunctious, there is a tinge of conscience at work, right? Okay, now, so this is where we are in this in this cycle, we're in the middle of the Bronze Age. Again, we're in year 16,023. The Bronze Age started in the year 14,812, and it runs clear through 18,514. You say, well, Johnny Cash, what book did you get this out of? I got this out of my damn book. I'm writing a book on this subject matter. These are my numbers. These are my calculations. This is my work that I put in to bring this knowledge to you. The knowledge, the kind of knowledge that you will never get in college because they don't want you to know this. Because with this knowledge, you can write your history 25,920 years in advance. All right, now, I got some more good news for you. Okay, so, after we complete the Bronze Age, we'll transition. We'll transition into the Silver Age on the upstroke, right? The Silver Age begins in the year 18,515, and it runs clear through the year 22,200. 17. We've talked about the attributes of the Silver Age already. Okay? Please review this tape when we're done and you'll get that information. And of course, the Golden Age will begin in the year 22,218 and it will run clear through the year 25,000 920. All right now. So, based on where we are right now, the year being 16,023, how many years do we have remaining until we reach the beginning of the golden age? And if you do the math, you get the number. 6,195 years to the golden age. All right? So now, let no one deceive you. Let no one deceive you anymore and make you think something crazy based on some new found information concerning some alleged people's calendar where the world is going to end in a couple of months. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't eat the cake. All right? I just gave you the science of time. I just gave you the secret of the great year of 25,920 years. Now, what's interesting is that in the three great religions, those being Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, the sacred books of those religions those being the Holy Bible, the Holy Quran, and the Talmud, and the Torah, and the Talmud. Those books cover a time frame of 25,920 years. That's the secret to those books. And in Sufism, in the mystery, in the secret spiritual practices of, I got to call it what it is. Sufis are ancient Egyptian priests. Forget about what you heard. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Sufis are ancient Egyptian priests 
members of the ancient Egyptian priesthood of Amun-Ra who infiltrated the religion of Islam to evolve those people from the Iron Age mentality and to give them a golden age system of spiritual development. Okay, that was a little extra. I just threw in the broadcast. No charge for that, right? My point is that in Sufism, the, the time frame of 25,920 years is called a Quran. One Quran. Quran means a recital. All right? Once you have completed 25,920 years of your history, you have performed your recital. All right now. Yes. Yes. I remember attending my daughter's dance recital. I remember attending my son's music recital. I had my own recital when I was a young lad. I had a, a singing recital where I won first place in the state of Illinois in high school. All right? So I understand the, the level of intensity that is involved in preparing for one's recital. I understand the work that one has to put in. And I tell you something about my recital. The night before my recital, I got sick as a dog. I couldn't even talk. And I was scheduled to compete in the state music competition in high school as a bass singer. And my mother gave me every herb known to God and man. And that morning, people, I still could not talk. And as I got in the car with my mother, I looked at her and I said, Mom, I don't know what to do. I didn't say it like this. I was whispering. I said, Mom, I don't know what to do. I, I can't talk, Mom. And I had tears in my eyes. I remember it. Like it was yesterday, I was 15 years old and my mother spoke these words to me. She says, son, remember these words. No man can ever deprive you of anything that is yours by divine right. I say, yes, ma'am. I didn't say another word while she took me to school. I didn't say another word even when I got to school. I didn't say a word to my music instructor as I stood beside her at the piano and before that microphone. While she played the introduction, my heart was beating like, oh my God, it was fluttering like the wings of a hummingbird. And when it was time for me to open my mouth, my voice rang clear as a bell and I won first place in the state because all I could remember were my mother's words that no one can deprive you of anything that is yours by divine right and I performed I masterfully performed my recital and I was awarded first place you see, it is time for you to prepare for your recital so that you can be awarded first place among the gods who are watching your performance in this earth. It is your time. Your time has come. Your time has come to review this tape and to learn this knowledge. And as time goes on, I'll share more of this with you. I'm going to create a new, you, a new YouTube channel only dealing with this subject matter, okay? And I'm going to create broadcasts. I'm going to produce broadcasts breaking down the secrets of our ancient Asiatic world cycle calendar. Well, listen, it's been a ball, y'all. It absolutely has been. And I love y'all, each and every one of you. 
And so mark my words, remember what we've shared tonight, and I will absolutely see you, and yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, I really do mean you at the top. And before I close, one final shout out to Kalik, Glenda, Yolanda. Thank y'all so much for chiming in with us. Darik, thank you so much for chiming in with us. Now I'm going to let y'all go so y'all can review this information because, like I said, this is news that you can that you can absolutely use. And it is knowledge that you will never get in anybody's college. And with that, good night and God bless. <laughs>